Okay, so <clears throat> I wanted to talk about a dream that I had. It was crazy. Like, so crazy. All right, let me just get into it. Um, so in my dream, I am in California. Um, my family is over there, so I guess I went over there to visit. On top of that, in my dream, my husband was deployed um, in a region near California, but not in California, so I don't know what that was about. <clears throat> but anyways, he was deployed over there for some reason. And me and my kids went to go over there so that we could be close to him so that he could visit with us. Okay, so we're... It's morning time, like early morning time. And there's this huge... I'm eating. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> there's this huge earthquake, right? And we're like, oh my god, earthquake. My kids have never been in an earthquake before, so they were freaking out. I've been in several earthquakes. Um, so I know exactly like what they feel like and everything and they are so awful like I can't even explain how awful they are worse than a tornado worse than a hurricane because there is no predicting it there's no warning for it you cannot pinpoint its epicenter or anything you just are in it okay anyway so there's a large earthquake we all wake up my kids are scrambling and freaking out I'm telling them to calm down and everything and then about maybe an hour I want to say it was an hour and later there was a huge black wall coming in and me and the kids are looking inside from our apartment we're looking out or hotel i don't know if it was a apartment or hotel we're looking out and we see this black wall. we're like what is that is that a storm coming i'm like oh my god that the cloud is so dark it looks like a, a huge massive storm is coming and then all of a sudden as it gets closer we can see it's water so here comes all this black rushing water from the ocean i'm talking like huge like i've never seen before I've seen I've seen tsunamis in dreams before, but this one was just weird. It didn't even seem natural. Um, so it's coming. So I tell my kids, run to the back of the house. They all run to the back of the house. I said, okay, I'm looking at this water and it's coming. And I'm like, Lord, help me. What do I do? Give me, what do I need to do to save my kids? I can't save all of them. I have nine kids. I knew that I was going to leave something out. My strongest ones knew how to swim. I told them, okay, duck down. We went to the back of the room. There was a window, and I knew from the pressure that it would break the window in. I told all my kids, the strongest swimmers, I told them, you guys stand, in, you guys get underneath the bed, stay in front of your younger brothers and sisters, grab one person by the hand, and when I give you this signal underwater, I want you to swim up, up over the bed and swim out the window and go straight up. No matter what, just keep going straight up. So they're crying. I'm like, it's okay. God is gonna protect us. It's gonna be okay. God has got us. So here comes the water, the water's filling up and you could hear like the moaning and grumbling of the walls of the house like ready to cave in and I'm like, Lord, please keep these walls standing so that we can escape this before you decide to, to you know, crumble the, the walls and everything. And I could feel the water coming up and I had my two youngest babies by my hand because I'm the strongest swimmer in my family, period. So I had my two youngest babies, which I knew wasn't gonna be able to do anything and my four oldest ones <clears throat> were the strong, second strongest so they grabbed onto a second person so everybody was linked. So when we, when the water finally rose over our heads, I'm looking at them. A huge shark comes through the, the the window into the house, and as soon as it passes by us, I give them the signal like this to go. So they take off out the window, straight up, straight up. Me and my youngest ones, we're going. They're already blowing bubbles out of their face because they, they can't swim. So a natural reaction for your body is to panic and blow out. So they're blowing out, trying to breathe in and everything. So we make it. We make it out. <clears throat> okay. The scene changes. Now we're all alive. The scene changes. And all of a sudden, it's nighttime. Everybody has been going through the devastation, tracking, trying to find everybody. You know, people's phones aren't working because they got wet with water. And some people are trying to dry them out. Some people, some of theirs are working, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All of a sudden, as soon as it turned night, these aircraft start coming in to attack to attack us on our ground on u.s ground and the ships not the ships the the, the i want to say ships i don't know why the airplanes and the helicopters um they look almost identical to ours almost identical to ours but there's just a little tweak in them and i can't explain what that is because i i'm not good with 
that but i know that there's a difference but they looked almost identical to us so at first when we saw them coming in as americans they looked like they belonged to us we thought maybe they were coming to help because of the tsunami but then they started firing at us like firing at children and women and babies and buildings and whatever they thought moved whatever they thought was alive they were firing and they were and they were attacking and i'm so passionate about this dream because it was so so real okay here's the thing about it me and my kids are trying to escape okay we're trying to escape this stuff that's not the important part the important part of the dream was is that i heard over a military radio trying to escape from the people that were attacking us that that tsunami was man-made by a terrorist or some group or some country trying to um, overtake us and all the american soldiers looked and stopped at each other like oh my god they can do that they can they can make tsunamis and um i'll never forget i stopped listened to that radio and i couldn't believe what i was hearing like that was that was made we somebody has the capability to make a tsunami and uh, make it look like a natural disaster to impair us to attack us so that was my dream and um i, I don't know if there's like a a, a, a meaning i don't know if if uh, because my husband does stuff the military because i've been stressed out because of everything that's been going on or you know so much is on my mind that my subconscious is taking over my dreams or whatever like i always say that in, in most of my videos you know that i'm not saying that this is prophetic i'm not saying that this is going to happen I'm just telling you what I've dreamed and it's left up to you to, you know, come to your own conclusions and opinions. Um, I'm going to ask politely that if you want to make or state an opinion, you have every right to do so. I will not take that from you, freedom of speech. What I'm asking you is to refrain from profanity and vulgarity because it's very unnecessary. It's very childish. It's, um, it's not going to be tolerated on my channel and I will block you off my channel. Um, so um, please be respectful to other people's uh, opinions. Um, I've had a person who has been uh, attacking me on one of my um, videos, my recent videos, who's just been vocal with everybody else also, and I don't appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to ask you to please respect me and respect other people around you. We're living in a day age. We don't need to spread any more hate, okay? We got enough of that going on. So, um sorry i look like a mess today uh i didn't get much sleep after that dream i woke up and i was like thinking about it so um um what else um i think that's about it god bless every one of you um pray for one another don't forget to do something nice for somebody for, or um out of the day at least one time don't forget to stop and pray to god and talk to him and don't forget to say i love you to somebody you never know when your last minutes are going to be um don't forget to take an opportunity out of a bad situation to turn it into a good situation and give all god uh, glory to god and um do somebody who's less fortunate do for somebody who is less fortunate than you remember everybody's situation can always be worse you know everything that we go through can always get worse um but with god by our side he will never give us something that we cannot get out of or, or a way to get away from and the first thing you always do is you know you run to the lord um repent of your repent of your ways um you ask god for forgiveness and you ask him to help you, you put on the armor of god place a hedge of protection plead the blood of jesus um and um in the name of jesus and by his already blood so um i love you guys bye thank you very much this has been march 14th of 2014 okay love you bye